Hi guys, I just made a video about um, what is new in Arc Linux 2311 and also how to stay rolling and I was a bit amazed at the fact that there is so uh, not much to be well there's no issue <laughs> there is no issue when you update the Arc Linux XL so I was wondering is then the problems with all the updates that Arch Linux is now making to Plasma is that a plasma problem? So I'm gonna go and have a look at one level up. I believe in seven. Nope, 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 nope. And then it must be nine. Let's have a look. Let's install plasma. Let's update it and see what goes on then, right? So let's um, install it first. Let's save some time here and not record my blah blah. But what I'm gonna do is an easy installation of Plasma, which means we're back in time in September. Then I'm gonna update. I'm gonna see kconfig is gonna be changed in kconfig 5, kio is gonna be changed in kio 5, and so on and so on. I believe dozens of them will change by name, right? But what happens if our user is using Plasma ISO, installs it? and then tries to, well, to update it. Is Arch managing all these changes in names? All right, so easy installation and then an update, but let's pause the video here. So let's continue the story. All right, enter, restart now. Thank you, my friend. So remember, we're back in time. Easy installation is the offline installation. The only reason I'm doing this is to see what happens to Arch Linux if we update, right? Yes, it's Arch Linux, I know, but just for those 5% of packages, right? Let's see. It's Arch Linux who is changing all the names. Not us, to be clear. I will see what Plasma tells us now. So we got that one, you can skip all that, or you can, huh? okay, buy and buy. Updates available, oh sure, I guess so. So sometimes you see me go to Manjaro, in this case Plasma, Discover, but, um, so Manjaro is spamming, I mean, of course. Um, thing is, I won't do that, I will go to Control T, and then maybe a little bit bigger. And then level look like this. Update. Let's see. There we go. So let's count. Attic Abacons Attica 5. 1, 2, Baloo. 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 4, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 41, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, I guess, right? 50, oh, I've, I've got a lost count, but you, you get the message, right? 51, 52, 53, 54, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, oh, there it is. So around 64, so let's say plus 50 packages all changed because of the name changes that Archlinx is doing. You can have a look in here at the long list and how many kilobytes, 1200 megabytes, and in the end we got four gigabytes for gigs right but and that's the point of the media of the video no problems right no changes no conflicts no no nothing so it still depends on what you've installed extra Arclix as such from the iso has no issues if you start adding stuff from awar and so on then of course there are problems. Well, thank God there is a problem, right? We can add at least that. There is 
like I think 500 plus servers around the world for Arch and Mirror Osbeck is really one of the best but <laughs> failed to retrieve a file right so no it's not the best so I type and mirror list and have a look so Osbeck is the one that is not okay so I'll put a hashtag in front of it Control X yes please and it's now saved so now I'm getting my packages from somewhere else and yes we can have another count if we want I think ah, yeah. there we go right <laughs> cannot resolve KO5 dependence of system and so on no what I'm gonna do is check something else first this was Rackspace so Rackspace is out let's go for that one let's update again so the source where is it coming from matters where is it coming from okay <laughs> so that was 50 plus in, in 60 range right packages that we need to get and this is something we know keys 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 in this case David is okay because when we press yes it's actually been imported if it's not okay you type in pseudo pacma minus s arch links keyring then they get imported as well well voilà, there were already some users with keo problems you see exactly what i've done to resolve it and as look around right where are the other so this one was a problem so it was not on the osbeck mirror so it's not an arch and uh, sorry an arcolinux mirror it's an arch links mirror so an arch problem so you do and mirror list Control t that's uh, not working <laughs> you could do, go for and mirror list All right let's hit update let it update so as you see we're well grinding through all the updates and everything is upgraded and there's a linux kernel which means in my brain reboot five more packages and then the end lines 35 one 35 guys here Maybe an, a question that somebody asked me that I can ask you. If we can make it, the question was this is seems to be slower, right? Install DKMS modules. Can we go go through this faster? I wouldn't know how. So the only thing I can say is on my machines I will remove Broadcom because I don't have it. I will remove real tech because I don't have it. And that's those two lines are already gone. But making sure this goes faster, I don't know if that's possible. And um, I don't want it to be faster, I want it to be correct. Because this is going to tell me how to up, uh, to, to, to boot, right? So it better be correct, otherwise I have a broken system. So speed, is it possible to speed things up, is the question. Voila, so the reboot. We have a plasma that's up to date. There were 50 plus packages that have been renamed. And all the packages out there on AOR that's still pointing to the package without the five have an issue now, right? The maintainers on AOR need to do something, not me or any other package builder, but the maintainers of a package build should do it. So there you go. We have a system that works. Let's have a look, update. Anything new? Nope. Up all. Anything there? Nothing to do. And we have an up-to-date system. So this is how I have updated a Plasma system. Think about servers and then try again. I have made already a video about uh, conflicting packages. So best thing, best rule is remove the conflict, update the system and then reinstall it later if need be. Alright, cheers.